So obviously it's not bad enough we have to go through this horrendous tragedy, this likely preventable tragedy in Buffalo, New York, where 10 Americans were killed just for their race by a white supremacist uh, with a manifesto that contained the ramblings of somebody who could have been writing the opening dialogue for Tucker Carlson's show or Alex Jones. Uh, that's bad enough. Worse, we have to go through this whole thing with State Senator Wendy Rogers as a public person. State Senator Wendy Rogers has a long history of just being batshit insane, and uh, I decided she wouldn't miss this opportunity too. Almost right afterwards, uh, after the shooting became public, when all of us were grieving and all of us were shocked and saddened by yet again uh, another mass murder due to easy gun access because of Republicans, due to white nationalist rhetoric because of Republicans, due to lack of mental health care spending because of Republicans, um, we get from Wendy Rogers, Fed Boy Summer has started in Buffalo. That was a tweet she sent out. In Fed Boy meaning the, the federal government, the feds. That's right. She called it a, a false flag. She accused all of these people who were shot, who died, families who lost loved ones of faking it. And, you know, we've had this happen in the past. Marjorie T Taylor Greene originally said that Parkland and Newtown were false flags. Um, Right-wing personalities um, like Alex Jones have, have done this. But to actually have somebody who is a gubernatorial candidate in Arizona and has a good shot at that nomination and scarily in a swing state could actually win, we, um, you know, somebody who has now been pushed into the mainstream of the Republican Party, if, to have them saying these kinds of things um, and have the party not swiftly kick her out in her ass. That's where we are today. Um, I, I mean, I hate to give any credit at all. The Republican Senate, uh, state Senate in Arizona, decided to, to take up an ethics investigation. I should say the whole Senate did, um, with all but three Republicans voting in favor of it. They, of course, though, all voted en masse against expelling her. The vote to expel her was 11, 4, 15 against, where it was 24 to investigate, uh, and I believe it was three against. Um, so now they're investigating to see what they can investigate. Does she have any ethics? Uh, is it does this person who says crazy? Shit, is she somebody who 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 is ethically unfit for office? Well, of course she is. We've known for a while. They they censored her back in March um, for attending a rally with open white supremacist Nick Fuentes and uh, talking about the hanging of her opponents. That's right. Um, she showed pictures with Jewish stars next to dead rhinos. I don't even know what the hell that means, but can't mean anything good. Um, and she, of course, was endorsed by Trump uh, to run for the Senate. I'm sorry, to run for governor of Arizona. And so she has a great shot, again, at being the nominee and potentially she could win. Um, hopefully won't, as Arizona's trending in a more sane direction. But it, it, it doesn't take away from the fact that she's a leading personality in the Republican Party. She has not been pushed out of the Republican Party. And her immediate reaction to a mass shooting is to blame the federal government. That's who Republicans are today. That is who their leaders are today. That is why you have Republican members of the House like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gozier going to white supremacist conferences. That's why you have Republican senators like Rand Paul refusing to aid Ukraine and blocking the vote because Vladimir Putin is a fascist and he likes Vlad. He even has gone over there to, to hand deliver messages from Trump. Again, this is who the Republican Party is. Media, Democrats, stop denying it, point it out every day. We're all endangered more because of them.